Metter entered their contest with Claxton High School with a 1-0 record. The Tigers played at home and received the opening kickoff from Claxton. Metter made a strong start as the running game was able to gain yards downfield as Chris Tarver bounces the run outside for a first down. Metter continues to work the running game to grind yardage out down inside the red zone. A run on third down does not produce enough yardage to convert, and Metter is forced to bring out the punt team. A solid punt drops the ball inside the 20, and Claxton takes over. On their first possession, Claxton is able to get very few yards as the Metter defense stands up tall. On fourth and short, Claxton elects to go for it and is able to plunge ahead for a first down. A delay of game penalty comes in, giving the Claxton Tigers a long field to work with. Claxton attempts to pass to get out of the long yard situation, but the Metter defense covers it up. Claxton punts the ball away and Metter begins another possession. Metter sticks with the running game and marches downfield. Metter also elects to go for it on a fourth down play, but does not convert, giving the ball back to Claxton. The visitors waste a little time as they rumble down the sideline and are able to pick up a first down plus more. Metter catches a break whenever a fumble produces a third and very long for Claxton. The visitors are unable to convert and have to bring out the punt unit once again. Facing a third and long, Metter opens up the playbook and tries out the passing game. The short pass does not go for enough to earn the first down and Metter punts once more. A spectacular punt rolls dead inside the 15 and the Metter defense comes back on the field. The Tiger defense swarms to the ball and bottles up the Claxton running game. A big sack on third down has Claxton punting from their own end zone. The short kick gives Metter the ball on the Claxton side of the field. The offense finds a groove and produces big runs. Chris Tarver caps the drive by racing into the end zone for a touchdown. The extra point puts Metter up 7-0. On Claxton's next possession, a bad snap launches the ball backwards and Claxton scrambles to recover it. Another short punt gives Metter the ball at midfield. The offense pushes down the field with Chris Tarver gaining solid yardage on the ground. The passing game also gets going and Metter moves inside the five yard line. A game clock malfunction has the referees keeping time on the field. An official calls out that there are eight seconds remaining. With time running out and the clock moving, Metter elects to go for the touchdown rather than the field goal. A run around the left side comes up just short and the teams head to the locker room. Metter kicks off to Claxton to start the second half and the visitors produce a good return. Setting up near midfield, the Tigers' defense continues to swallow up Claxton's offense. Metter's offense takes over and works down the field with Chris Tarver gaining big yards. Claxton comes up with a big tackle for a loss and Metter is facing third and long. On a run up the middle, Tarver breaks a tackle and sets up fourth and ten. Metter chooses to go for it and plunges ahead with a run up the middle. The run appears to gain enough for a first down, but the officials award Claxton the ball without measuring. Mike West makes his case, but the referee does not agree. The Metter defense comes up big again and forces another punt. 
the Tigers collect the short kick and turn up field for a good return. The offense gets moving with Justin Parrish producing a series of runs to gain a first down. The quarter ends and the team switch sides. Chris Tarver charges ahead and scores another touchdown. A bad snap on the extra point attempt is salvaged when the holder is able to fire a pass into the end zone for a two point conversion. Metter takes an unusual 15 0 lead. A long kickoff produces a touchback and Claxton returns to offense. A bad snap slings the ball toward the goal line where Metter pounces on it. A short run later and the Tigers stretch their lead. The extra point makes it 22 to 0. Claxton's offense finds a groove and moves down the field. Their passing game begins to click and gains good yardage but the Metter defense comes up strong on fourth down. The Tigers take over and Asa Lanier races down the field for a first down. A Metter fumble gives Claxton the ball back with time running out. The visitors produce a quick strike and complete a pass for a touchdown. They attempt another pass for a two-point conversion, but it falls incomplete. With little time remaining, Claxton must attempt an onside kick. The visitors must kick from the 40-yard line and attempt to recover it. The ball has to travel 10 yards to the 50 before Claxton can touch the ball. Metter may recover the kick anywhere, but if they touch the ball in the neutral zone before the 50, Claxton can then recover it anywhere. Claxton makes the kick and Metter recovers it. From field level, you can see the ball take one hop into the air before B.J. Harrison leaps up and snags it. Metter runs the clock out and collects the victory. The Tigers move on to rival ECI in an away game featuring two undefeated teams.